Before we jump into the video, I want to kind of give like a preface message. Um, I was not feeling myself yesterday when I filmed the Pack With Me video. I had stomach issues, I had a headache that would come and go throughout the day. Um, so I really wasn't feeling 100% my best self and I think I mentioned it in the video. Um, I feel better today, my stomach issues are gone. Um, my headache is like a dull nuisance at this point. I am drinking some tea from my Baymax mug, so hopefully uh, he cures me. Uh, but I was stressing about fitting everything into my luggage because I hate checking bags. I'm at some point gonna have to start checking bags. I just, I fear for my luggage to be lost and I hate wait, you know, waiting for them on the luggage carousel at baggage claim because I just want to get to my destination. So I am bringing only a carry-on size suitcase and a, like a backpack, a Jansport size backpack. Um, so I had to fit everything into those two things. And it doesn't sound hard, but for me as a chronic overpacker, I'm packing for winter stuff. So there are a lot of bulkier items. Um, we are going for three and a half days and four nights. So, uh, that it shouldn't be a lot of clothes but i also pack for at least two outfits per day um because i love a different style you know in the morning versus at night especially because we are park hopping so there's going to be different parks that we're going to in different areas and i you know kind of bound to those areas or my favorite characters of those parks so um I definitely brought a lot more things than I think an average person would uh, if they were going to Disney. Um, I have been to Disney quite a few times now, so um, I should know better, but I, I guess I'm still learning. So yeah, in the video I was stressing about getting everything fit uh, that I just did not feel like going through all the toiletries and like all the extra smaller items, and I just wasn't proud of the overall video so i apologize for the quality of the video not necessarily the video quality but more so like the content quality um i really wish i would have just sucked it up and showed everything yesterday but i didn't so i'm gonna do that later on in the video i just wanted to get that message out there now we're gonna jump into the official pack with me video and then somewhere after i show you my outfits i will come back to present day which is the day after I filmed the pack with me video and I'll share with you my toiletries and my like I don't know just other items so I hope you enjoy this pack with me video let's get into it hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lenise I post travel Disney and lifestyle content so if that's your vibe click subscribe I am finally packing for the Disney trip that I'm going on this weekend today is January I believe 7th. <laughs> I forget which exact date, but it is Sunday and I leave for um, like Thursday morning to uh, go to the airport. We have a total of five more days, so uh, I am packing slightly early just because throughout the week I don't have too much time uh, to go through everything. After work I have other things to do, but after I pack, um, I just have the little things like to finish my toiletries. I am doing my own nails, so I gotta do that probably the day before we leave. And that's pretty much it. I have a lot of things that I'm gonna show you uh, that I have to go through. I pretty much clumped everything together. Not everything is organized. Some things are packed away, um, but I had to do laundry. I had to get some last minute items yesterday. So I'm gonna share everything with you. I am also gonna try on some outfits. Um, off camera and then I'll share with you the pictures so you can kind of see like an idea of what the outfits will look like for the trip. Keep in mind I am packing for Orlando in the winter. I've never been to Florida in the winter so I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, the weather for now does say that we can expect low 70s um, for a high and a low of uh, I think like mid 50s. So not too bad. I do live in upstate New York, so I have, you know, been through worse. Uh, but with Florida, you do expect warmer weather. So to have that cooler weather um, is something that I've never experienced down there. So I'm going to be packing lots of sweatshirts, leggings. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to Florida in the winter, especially if you're from the north. Like, do you pack jackets? Do you pack jeans? I also am only going for three and a half days, four nights. 
but I definitely feel like I'm already overpacking, so it's gonna be interesting to see how all of this comes together. Also, I'm not feeling 100% good. I'm feeling slightly under the weather right now. Hopefully, it'll pass by the time uh, we're in Florida. Um, I just have a headache right now. That's really the worst of it, so um, I did take some Advil, so hopefully it's gonna go away, but if I feel, or if you see me like, you know, I don't have like a ton of energy or I'm not loud or anything. It's just, I'm not feeling my 100% best, but uh, we're gonna get through this together. But I'm not gonna take up any more of your time in this preamble part of the video. Let's get right into packing. All right, so this is literally most of everything that I need to go through. And it's a mess right now. So I am bringing my iFly carry-on size suitcase. And back there I have a like transport sized backpack that I'm bringing with me as like my personal item for flying jet blue so they do allow that um, but I have to sift through all of this I somehow have to figure out how I'm gonna be packing an extra lounge fly bag because I'm bringing two of those um, I'm bringing a total of three pairs of shoes but I'll be wearing one of them to the airport so I'll like have to pack two sneakers and then all this other stuff so what I'm first gonna do is just try on some outfits just so I can, you know, uh, weed out what I'm not gonna bring. And then I'll go through the little stuff as well. So I'll catch up with you in just a second. I also wanna show you the shirt that I'm wearing for my video. It is a white short sleeve paint splatter shirt in honor of Festival of the Arts, my first time going this weekend. And I've just paired it with like a long sleeve undershirt because it is cold in this house. Okay, I think it's a couple hours later this is coming together but it's slow and sure um so we're just gonna focus on this area right now i tried on all the outfits that i'm gonna wear and i will put them on the screen so you can see but uh this first one right here at the top is a tiana sweatshirt that i'm going to pair with black leggings um, I'm just gonna wear like a basic tee underneath, black sneakers, and then I have a bucket hat and a belt bag that I'm going to pair that with as well. I did try the Tiana outfit with ears. Very, very cute, but the ears are a bit heavy. They fall off, so I just didn't want to bring it um, if I'm gonna be like uncomfortable and not re uh, re wear it for the rest of the trip. By the way, that's for day, that's like the second part of day one. The first part obviously is gonna be the travel day. I guess I haven't <laughs> gone over the itinerary but my travel outfit is over there um the pinocchio shirt i'm still thinking of it's just like an undershirt but my travel sweatshirt is right there it is the cold camp bot the cold never bothered me anyway sweatshirt with jeans and sneakers um so i'm thinking of wearing the pinocchio shirt just like an undershirt and that will be the travel outfit and then we're gonna go to disney springs so that's the Tiana outfit for the second part of the day. And then the full first day, we are Disney bounding as our favorite princesses. Um, my friend Hope chose Mulan and I'm wearing Ariel. So I have my Ariel Vogue shirt. She has a matching shirt. Um, hers is just Mulan on it. And then I'm going to pair it with green biker shorts uh, to kind of mimic Ariel's green tail. I have um, my Sebastian backpack to go with it. I'm thinking of wearing a long sleeve white shirt underneath it it'll possibly be a green undershirt i'm not sure i actually did not try that on but i'm gonna probably bring it just in case and my white sneakers and my ariel ears and then later on in the night we're most likely going to hollywood studio so i have my fantasia shirt on um i got that a long time ago and i never wore it so i'm gonna wear that with my new sweatshirt that i got for it my sorcerer ears, black leggings, black shoes, and then I'm going to pair it with my rose gold backpack because I have to find a reason to bring this backpack, not just for one outfit. I definitely have to wear it at least twice, so I'm going to wear it for that night. The second full day, that's when we're going to Epcot, so I have this Starry Night Mickey shirt that I got from Kohl's for four dollars 
four whole dollars. It was originally 15 and then it was on sale for 10 and then I used cold cap. Cole's cash, excuse me, and I got it for four dollars, so it's awesome. And I'm gonna pair it with black biker shorts, my gelatoni ears, which you'll see in the picture. I do have like a rain jacket that everyone's saying is a good idea to bring, but I love it because it has this like design on it. It's like a watercolor print, which reminds me of Festival of the Arts. So I don't know if I'll need it that day, but if I do, that's the day that I will bring it. And then I'll wear that, I think, with white sneakers. And then later on in the night, we're going, I think, probably back to Epcot. So we'll start in Epcot. We'll probably end in Epcot. If I have time to change, I will just change into this sweatshirt that says, if you can read this, think the Phoenicians. With black leggings, I think gray sneakers, and my bucket hat and belt bag. And then the last full day... Uh, we're going to Hollywood Studios first, so I have this Mrs. Nesbitt Tea House shirt because Toy Story is my favorite in Hollywood Studios. And then I have it with uh, green biker shorts again, I think white sneakers, I think my bucket hat, my belt bag, and this here for the green milk sweatshirt because I do love green milk rather than blue milk, but I seem to be the only one who prefers that. And then those are just extra shirts. So just in case we go to Animal Kingdom, I do have two Animal Kingdom shirts. I don't know if we'll even go once, but if we go once, I'll wear the I'm a Nervous Wreck shirt. And then I have another black uh, dinosaur shirt that just has like a couple of white dinosaurs on it. And I think I just have like extra undershirts, like the green long sleeve undershirt that I was talking about earlier. I am also bringing two pajama sets, just like regular like Disney um, short sleeve shirts with leggings and um, a bathing suit in case we find time to swim at our resort, probably won't, but bring it anyway, right? And of course like my undergarments and I think that is all when it comes to clothes. Also my traveling home outfit is this sweatshirt that I got from Lost Bros and it's just the monorail message that you hear both in English and Spanish. Um, so I'll be wearing those with jeans and I think white sneakers um, and, I mean, I'm just going home, <laughs> so I'm not trying to look fancy, but those are all the clothes So I'm gonna try to pack those up and then I still have to go through all the little stuff like my toiletries and all the extras the accessories Stuff like that. So let's get into packing one thing. I forgot to mention is uh, On our last day the second half of that day We're going to I believe end up back in Magic Kingdom or Epcot and uh, Hope and I are wearing matching shirts again, but she bought those matching shirts So she has the one shirt that I need for our very last day um, You know last half of our last day, so I don't have that to pack here, but it's a gray shirt with a rose gold design I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wear those with jeans my gray or white sneakers my rose gold ears and my rose gold backpack I, I'm defeated. I don't know what else to do. The only way I can hope this works is if Hope has room for my stuff because let me show you. My suitcase is full. Um, I can close it. I do need to use the like expansion layer on this, but I can close it and um, these are all my sweatshirts, plus an extra sweatshirt, I think. My belt bag, my frog purse. Those are just like my regular shirts and biker shorts and leggings. Those are my like undergarments. My carry-on backpack is filled. So it has my Sebastian backpack in there filled with other stuff like first aid kit and park bag stuff, my water bottle, my umbrella, all that good stuff. And then it also has my two other pairs of sneakers in here. So I have no idea where to fit my toiletries and my electronics. I'm going to see if I can consolidate. Um, I definitely need my toiletries. That's not like... Um, negotiable but the electronics I'll go through I'll see what I can like keep here um, I'll see what's important to bring but 
that still doesn't account for my rose gold backpack that I was going to use. So I have no idea what to do. I can fit my toiletries and everything in my rose gold backpack, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm not checking my bag. That's the one thing I hate doing is checking a bag into a flight. I just want to get off the plane and go. I don't want to have to wait for baggage claims, so... <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do. I'll keep playing around with it and I'll let you know how it goes. I hope you're enjoying the pack with me video so far. If you are, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. I would highly appreciate it. By the way, this tea is so delicious. I highly recommend it. It is green tea, but like it has passion fruit flavors to it. I'll get the name and I'll put it on the screen here. It is really, really good and I hope it heals me a little bit. Um, we're gonna jump right into showing all the other items that I was telling you about. It's really not exciting stuff, but this is what you do in every pack with me video so i feel like without it it's it's like incomplete these aren't toiletries but this was my black belt bag uh, that you saw in all of my outfits i packed some stuff in here because i was trying to maximize my space and this is going to go back into my suitcase um so i have the actual strap for the bag in here i found this adorable mini backpack it's like this like pink backpack I don't know where I got this. It's like a keychain. I used this for my big 10 day trip that I took in 2019 for um, change because I would collect pressed pennies. So all my change and my pressed pennies went in here. Um, and I think some pins too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I do currently have a lanyard in here because I'm gonna try to remember to do some pin trading. And now that I think about it, I actually have to, um, choose another pin to put in here so i can trade um and then i have two sets of 51 cents in here in case i can do the pressed penny thing um i don't know if you can do 51 cents anymore i think it's a dollar and i think you use your card but i have that in here just in case i have a cloth clip to put my hair up this will definitely come in handy um on one of the days i forget which one but got that in there um, I have my sunglasses. I do wear prescription glasses and they're not transition, so they don't uh, tint when there's sunlight. So if I wear sunglasses, some people, they'll take their prescription glasses off and just wear their sunglasses, but um, I don't wear contacts either. So my silly self just puts the sunglasses over my glasses and yeah, it looks kind of crazy, but you know what? I have to see and I also have to protect my eyes, so this is what we're working with. But um, they're, you know, large and oversized, which I can appreciate, and I've had these forever. I love this thing. This is my Mickey ring light. What I can link in the description box below, I will definitely do so. I got this off of Amazon for $12.99, and I love this because, um, I think this is just for your phone, really, but when it gets dark and I wanna FaceTime, my fiance or I want to take some pictures I will clip this over my phone so oh by the way look at my cute phone case it is a Cinderella and uh, the fairy godmother from Roger and Hammerstein Cinderella with Whitney Houston and Brandy from the 90s if you have not seen that movie you are missing out it is on Disney Plus it is my favorite Cinderella movie I've watched it so many times I love the songs and uh, the casting is amazing. If you've never seen it, just be prepared for the most diverse cast you'll ever see because obviously Cinderella's black, you have the fairy godmother who's black, you have the prince who's Filipino, his mother is Whoopi Goldberg who's black, his father is Victor Garber who's white, and it's, it's just a very beautiful diverse cast um, and that was completely side tangent apologies um but anyway you clip this to your phone i think this way i think you could clip it anyway but it goes over your camera so you can clip it with the front to the back or or you can clip it like in the middle like that um but anyway you will turn it on and uh the button's right here and it goes on three different levels so this is the lowest level that's the second level and that's the third level this will work amazingly in uh you know during at night so this will go in my belt bag in my part bag wherever i am this will come with me 
And then I have my extra magic bands in here. I am gonna be wearing my plain white band um, probably for the first two nights. Um, I have this light pink band that I wasn't going to bring. I bought this specifically for the trip. It was just like the, a, a basic pink for like 10 bucks. But I had no pinks in my outfit, so I was like, I'm just not gonna bring this. Now I have two uh, times that I could wear this if I wanted to, so I'm just gonna bring it. I also have a gray one that I put a rose gold decal on here, um, so I was thinking of bringing that too. And then this one is a Han Solo and Chewy uh, magic band that I'm just thinking of bringing for Hope because she's a huge Star Wars fan. So this is in case she wants to wear it. She doesn't have to. Uh, but that's all my stuff in my belt bag and then we're gonna move on to something else by the way i don't think i mentioned this but i do have to work today it's monday it's i think like 9 17 in the morning uh but there is a system or not a system there's um, an internet outage uh i don't know how far it goes but it's definitely like my whole road uh just my whole like neighborhood area is out I walked up like 15 minutes up the road just so I can get a bar to call Spectrum, is my, my internet service provider, and as I was talking to them, a car stopped me and she was like, do you have Spectrum? And I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, we're out. And uh, she was like, can you let them know that my area is out as well? So like everyone's experiencing an internet outage in where, we're, where we are. So I'm watching my modem. I'm waiting for it to just automatically come back. I have been playing with it a couple of different times uh, when I got back from that walk this morning, but it just hasn't been working. They said it could automatically turn back on. So I'm just watching it, um, <laughs> but I cannot do my work. I put in to uh, just like for a half day um till about 11 a.m so 11 a.m i'm expected to come back to work but i will just have to keep them posted because i can't work without internet but anyway i decided since i cannot work i might as well uh put the extra effort into trying to make this video all that i wanted it to be so you're welcome okay this is a clear travel like um, quart size I, I think this is a quart size i'm not sure but it's one of those clear tsa approved bags um that you can put like all your liquids and stuff in there um it came in a pack of two but uh they had other packs they had individual ones ones that came in packs of threes they had different colors so i'll link this down below as well um but i just put a bunch of random stuff in here this is my sleeping mask and i cannot usually sleep without it i sleep with this most every night some nights i'm just so tired that i forget to put it on and i don't need it but when i'm in an not an unusual place but like just you know kind of different than where i usually am sometimes i'm jittery i'm nervous excited and it'll be harder for me to sleep so this will definitely come in handy that was way too much of a description for a sleep mask uh i have my first aid kit in here that i bring with me everywhere um and it's kind of like makeshift so i got the original kit from like walgreens i put some band-aids like extra band-aids in here i have an extra hair tie in here i have a mini emery board or like a nail filer um i've got some ginger chews in here i usually don't need this but we are going to be writing guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind for the first time ever and it's a ride that can induce motion sickness so i'm bringing it just in case i usually don't have motion sickness problems i've ridden orange level mission space a couple of different times um and i was fine but i did learn that i get motion sickness like from ships apparently sometimes so you just never know i haven't been to the disney parks since before learning about my new kind of motion sickness so just in case got some ginger chews and i have some uh cleansing wipes and gauze as well and a nail clipper in here so i mean <laughs> it's not really that great but i do have other like first aid stuff outside of this i have a fine tooth comb that's just for me um gotta make the hair slay and i have some of these like hair ties also as well there's just a bunch of those in here i've got a corkscrew 
and I would never usually bring this but I'm bringing this because Hope and I uh, have talked about it and we want a bottle of wine for the room and um, I believe they sell bottles of wine in the um, like gift shop that they have at the hotel um, but I couldn't bring one with a blade otherwise I would have to check it in a bag and I'm not checking a bag so I bought one without a blade it just has those little arms and I thought this was perfect and it was six bucks from Amazon again so in case there is an issue with it I don't have that much of an issue with them like confiscating it or whatever but I thought that'd be perfect I have also some facial wipes uh, this is to remove everything off at the end of the night um, I do have a fan I did I believe get this from Amazon but I got this a few years ago so I don't remember which shop from Amazon I got it from if I find it I will link it but this is the one that has um, three settings oh, this feels really good oh my god Ooh. we are going in January obviously but I didn't know if I should bring this and cooling towels and everything because someone told me I should I've decided not to bring cooling towels but I am gonna bring this fan because oh that feels so good we are going to have um, I think highs of like low 70s throughout the day and a low of like mid 50s so it shouldn't be too hot where I, I don't need this but you just never know the humidity is still pretty like high out there I've got a sleeping bonnet to protect my hair at night moleskin okay I could not find this um in walmart i couldn't find it in Shoprite, walgreens like i've got uh, target i've looked a couple different places for this um this was one of those last minute items so i didn't think to look for it online ahead of time so by the time like i was able to look for it online the shipping date was after our trip um and i wasn't gonna pay like 10 plus dollars for <laughs> me to get moleskin uh but we actually went to another Shoprite location and they had it and it was for two dollars so this was a great find and um i've only gotten blisters once in disney but i had never worn those shoes before um the shoes that i'm wearing i've worn a couple different times the ones i'm most worried about are the white sneakers um because those are the shoes that i've least been in um the left one does have like an area where it kind of rubs me a little bit the wrong way so i'm definitely looking forward to using that i've never used moleskin before but i hear good stuff about it um these are corn cushions again i got blisters before so these are also good to have um i got some ponchos in here which is great one for splash mountain and one for in case it rains um, I actually got three of those in here. I've got some rubber bands because of some hair cells that I plan to do during the trip. Oh, look at that. I've got two fans. I knew it came in a pack of two. I bought one for, well, I didn't buy one for me and Hope, um, but I'm bringing one for me and one for Hope. Although, I don't think we'll both be needing this at the same time. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna like bring one. Um, I'm glad I'm going through this because I don't think I need to bring two fans. I hardly doubt we'll need one. Um, I have some like drip. These are called drip drops. These are electrolyte powders. And uh, these are good to have every morning, especially after you've been drinking the night before. But it's also good just to have um, in general. And I use this all the time. Um, I love the orange flavors, the berry flavors, the citrus flavors. So I've got some orange and berry in here. I have a travel loofah. And I have some like floss picks in here as well. Because I floss every day. And... The last thing in here is my travel toothbrush and paste. Oh, and I have like a phone pouch as well uh, to put like around your neck and to protect your phone from water. This was specifically for Splash Mountain. I don't think I'll actually need this um, now that I think about it. I don't know. I was thinking of recording Splash Mountain from my phone and putting it in here. So maybe I'll bring it. <laughs> I can't make up my mind right now. Since I'm not bringing the fan, I am just going to 
put this in here this is scotch tape and i think i said it i don't know if i say it before you've seen this or after but um i was so packed up that i couldn't bring my lint roller which i really want to bring because i'm bringing a lot of fleece lined uh, sweatshirts and my leggings have like pet hair on them and stuff um, i don't have a pet but the owners before we bought this house had a dog and i was upstairs and the dog's hair is like all over the place even like after vacuuming it several times there's still remnants of the pet hair so um i wanted to make sure that my clean my clothes were as clean as possible but the lint roller is pretty bulky i'm just bringing this like small little roll of scotch tape and i'm just gonna <laughs> put it on like areas that you can clearly see um some lint or pet hair and then just like rip it away hopefully that works um i'm gonna pack that in here now that i have some free space from not bringing the second fan okay some other things i've got my umbrella i don't even remember where i got this but um i you i do usually bring this other umbrella this is a little bit smaller so this makes no issue when i pack it it fits virtually anywhere so um this i think will even fit it's not gonna fit in my belt bag but it it's very close to fitting my belt bag but this i'm definitely bringing i'm gonna go into some park bag essentials slash like first aid kit kind of stuff um my fiance's younger sister got me this for this past christmas it is adorable it says i'm just here for the snacks and she got this off of amazon but i know exactly which shop she got it from so i'll link it down below for you um this also is like a wristlet I don't really usually wear wristlets, um, so I knew I was going to use this for like my traveling items. So, um, all right, this is like my mini deodorant. I think this is probably going to go in the park bags with me. Um, I've got some sanitizing wipes. I've got Tide to go. This was something that I also couldn't find in the stores, but I did find um, at a shop right <laughs> at one point. Uh, this is some jergens hand lotion um again this is like another park bag essential um because i do not want my hands to be all like ashy and i think the wet wipes are a park bag essential tied to go uh this is dramamine less drowsy this is literally like the ginger chews this is for your motion sickness um i just don't know what we're going to be needing and it's very tiny so i figured i'd bring that this is advil this is essential especially because i'm like nursing this headache that i've been ha i've had for a day now um it actually feels good now i don't feel the headache now but i think this is very good to have to relieve that i've got some sunscreen some people tend to think that if you have darker complexions you don't need sunscreen and that's not the case we still have skin skin cancer is still a thing you can still get sunburnt so sunscreen is essential now i'm gonna be honest i don't reapply or even apply as often as i should but i still bring it all the time and i at least try to apply one layer before i go out um, i just got to be better with <laughs> reapplying um i got some tissues this is another park bag essential oh look at that i have more lotion i'm gonna just bring one i don't need two hand lotions because i am bringing body lotion with me um i've got some ointment this is just like a first aid thing like you just never know like if you get cuts or scrapes or anything like that um this offers pain relief so i think that's good to have this is my rosy lips vaseline great for the winter and just all year round keeps your lips moisturized this is um reusable straws uh because disney has those paper straws that pretty much disintegrates every time you use them and it's horrible and then the last thing i have here is a phone charger for my iphone actually i'm just going to make sure that this works all right it does work i don't know why i packed it in here though so i'm i mean i'm thinking maybe park bag essentials i'm gonna pack this into my electronics bag so this is my electronics pouch i bring this with me every trip um in general so this is a charger, I believe, for my fuel rod. This is an attachment for my tripod, uh, which I'll show. I don't know where it is, but I'll show it to you soon. And basically, you screw this onto the tripod, and then you can put your phone sideways. I think you could probably extend it to where you can put it long ways. 
oh i just took this whole thing off you know i'm not really loving this i don't know what the point of this is i, I could have sworn i knew what this was but i don't like that i have another one that's better so you attach it to you attach this part to the top of the tripod i'm gonna use this one as an example but i'm not bringing this tripod with me to this trip i'm bringing a smaller one which i have to find so once it's attached um this is a separate attachment but you can lock this anywhere into place by simply just like screwing and unscrewing this bit and then you can extend this and put your phone sideways in here um, if you want to take pictures with your phone and you could put your phone on a timer or you can use one of those um, shutter remotes like I have here and so your phone will be here and you can just snap pictures away instead of having to ask people to take pictures for you um, and then also like I said like you can choose to do it like from an angle or something this is pretty much like a USB extender so um, it does have a USB at the end what I plan to do is plug this into this separate dock and that will be the plug-in so I can plug my camera batteries my phone in here everything can be charged like that that's pretty much all I have for my electronics. This is the tripod that I'm bringing. It's this like smaller tripod that I'm used to using. Um, just look at the difference. <laughs> it's so much smaller. This is more flexible. Uh, this one does not have any flexibility, but it's so compact. And I see a lot of vloggers use this and praise it and have no complaints about this. So I'm going to be bringing this. And I mean, it could fit my belt bag if I needed to bring this so um, this is the one I'm using and I'm wrapping up the wires that I showed you from my electronics bag I am tying them off with these adorable Mickey hair clips I got an assortment of them in different colors um, I'll be wearing them in my hair but for now I'm just tying uh, my wires with some of the clips there's like a, not a lot that I thought would be in here I'm gonna just kind of smooth it out and tuck it so that it's a lot smaller. I'm almost finished, you guys. I just have the rest of my uh, like bottles to show you, my makeup, jewelry, and then I think that's it. So starting off, we have some downy wrinkle release. Obviously, all my clothes will be crushed, and I can't necessarily iron all of my sweatshirts because they have designs on them. So I've never used this before, but I heard good things about them. So I'm gonna try that out this trip. I've got some spray for my hair to keep it glossy and shiny. Ugh, it smells so good. It smells like peaches. Um, this is the perfume that I'm going to be using this trip. It is Pure Wonder from Bath and Body Works. Excuse the nails. I am doing them a day before my trip. I have some... This is my body lotion. I just use like a Jergens honey like scented lotion. This is hand soap that i'll be using instead of the bar soap that they offer at the resorts this is listerine mouthwash self-explanatory oh great more sunscreen um i don't think i need this i'm sure hope's gonna bring her own sunscreen um so i, I don't know if i'll need this because i'm bringing my own spray um that is a cream this is 4C. This is tangerine flavored water enhancer. So Florida's water does not taste the best. Obviously it's for hydration purposes, not necessarily for taste, but this helps it go down a little easier. So I like to use this. I like to use Mio, um, any of the variations. So this is gonna definitely come in handy. This is my body wash. This is uh, Dove, the scent snow blossom and it smells incredible and then this is some face wash that i use i actually use neutrogena mostly uh but this is the clean and clear yeah clean and clear morning burst and then this is just like one of the face scrubbers to exfoliate your skin i'm just gonna quickly go through the makeup because there's not a lot in here um again i don't i'm not gonna put on full faces of makeup i'm not gonna bring false lashes or anything like that um I just want to be comfortable for the day but there are key items that i do use daily so i have a brow pencil to make my brows look fuller 
And I also use this brow brush to fluff it and angle it. Those are honestly the two things that I use every time I go out of the house. Um, if I'm not wearing makeup, I'm at least using these two things. Um, if I want to get a little fancier, I will wear mascara, and this actually is really good. It's by the company Milk. This was free for my birthday this past year, and it definitely pumps up my lashes. I love them. I don't have a curler, though. That's something that I need to get, not for this trip, just in general. If I want to get fancier, fancier, I'll use eyeliner as well. This is just black liquid eyeliner. Um, now, for this trip specifically, I will be wearing some makeup um, some days. So, for example, for our Magic Kingdom day, since I'm bounding as Ariel, if I can put the effort into this and if I wake up on time and everything, I want to give my eyes, you know, kind of like a mermaid look, like scales and, you know, um, in mermaid colors. So I do have this kind of like glitter in this jar that I can uh, put primer on and then like apply the glitter to my eyes. I've done this before for my birthday trip. I'll insert a picture just to show you what I'm kind of talking about. And then I do have this color palette. Um, they have some darker colors, but they also have some like purples and pinks and blues, um, which reminds me of mermaids. So I'm thinking of rocking that look for that day, but knowing me, I like have all these grand ideas and then the day comes and I'm just like so over it. And then I also just have like a nude palette. Um, if I want to kind of dress my face up a little bit. That's literally it. I'm not going to wear lipsticks or anything. I do have lip gloss. This is the lip gloss that I'll be wearing for the trip. It's from uh, Victoria's Secret and it's Apricot Spritz. The last thing that I'm going to show you guys is my jewelry and then I think that's officially it. So this is my jewelry case. It matches my electronics case. I do have a matching makeup case but because it's large and I don't wear a lot of makeup. I swapped it out for this cute tiny one. Uh, before jewelry, I'm going to start off with the pill case. <laughs> I learned a long time ago to uh, separate your earrings and your rings and necklaces even in a pill case. This cute tiny one that I got from the dollar store years ago. Um, okay, so first things first, I'm taking these out because I'm, I'm not going to wear these, I don't think. These were sort of like a regret buy. Um, these are from Bobble Bar and I got them on sale for Black Friday. A lot of this stuff actually, um, like my outfits and I forget what else, but I got some of this stuff on Black Friday or during their Black Friday sale. These are $30 each or something crazy. I got them for $10 each and they were gold beaded Disney bracelets. Um, one design is Mickey. I have another design that's Daisy. And then the third design is Donald. I did order a goofy one, but they were on back order, so they refunded me. They had a Pluto, a Pluto one, but he looked really weird. And I don't usually have a lot of stuff with mini on them so i just got these three but now i'm kind of regretting getting these um they're cute it's just i don't think i'll really wear these honestly and i'm not really much of a gold person i don't know what i think because it was like so in, like insanely cheap and on sale um and you know i'm obsessed with disney like i got them but i mean they're cute so, I mean, I don't know. I, th I don't think I'm going to wear them for this trip, though. So, I'm going to take those out. Not that that saves me any room. <laughs> I have this adorable Skyliner necklace that I got from... I forget the name of the shop. I will obviously link it for you down below. It's in rose gold. And it's like the Sky Gondola because we are staying at our... Art of Animation this trip, which is on the Skyliner route, so I'm going to be wearing this every single day. I'm actually going to take this out because I'll be wearing that for our travel day. And then um, I showed you guys this uh, this uh, bracelet in my pins video, and this is a scar themed bracelet that says, I'm surrounded by idiots. This is in case we go to Animal Kingdom. 
For earrings, uh, this again is in case we go to Animal Kingdom. These are some dinosaur shaped earrings. These again, like Black Friday at Marshalls. I think I got these for like $10. These are Betsy Johnson frog shaped earrings. They're these tiny little frog earrings. I'm gonna wear those with my Tiana outfit when we go to Disney Springs. I also have, I've got like this huge pack of assorted uh, Disney earrings from Amazon. They came in matching sets of like black, rose gold, gold, and silver, which is amazing. And two of these earrings, like I saw individually for $8 each. I was gonna get two earrings, that would have been $16. This whole pack that I think came with like 20 sets of earrings, $20. No, no, I'm sorry, $17. So I, they're probably obviously going to be like not long lasting. Uh, but for a three day trip, I think they'll be fine. Um, so I have these black ones that are shaped like Mickey and they have like, like a hole in them. They're too tiny. I have another one that is rose gold and Mickey shaped. Um, just like the shiny rose gold one and then for my rings my fiance got me this one for uh christmas this past year and it's the pandora and marvel one it's like the infinity ring that thanos has um i'm sorry the infinity gauntlet that thanos has but it's in the shape of a ring and it's so cute i saw a youtuber wear it and i was like i want that for christmas and then um last ring that I have is from Etsy and it's a copper stained um, coil ring so let me just put it on so I can kind of show you what it looks like so it looks like that and I'll be wearing that either on this ring my index finger my thumb it fits all of them but that's all the small jewelry I have the next ones are bracelets this one is a uh, little mermaid theme it has a charm that says i've got gads i've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty so i'll be wearing that for my magic kingdom day when i'm bounding as ariel and then this one is a tiana themed one and there's a charm on there that says jetta dor jetta me french i love you and uh something else uh <laughs> but um i actually let me take these out of the plastic wrap i don't know why i have them wrapped so i also gave one of these to hope uh, Mulan theme so she'll be bounding as Mulan. The last piece of jewelry that I have is um, this clamshell necklace that I shared with you guys in my pins video. This was from Hot Topic. Um, I don't know if I'll be wearing this. I'm gonna bring it just in case I change my mind. I feel like if I leave it here I'll be like upset at myself that I didn't bring it. So I'm just gonna bring it. Okay I have more jewelry to show you. <laughs> Okay, I forgot I'm bringing all this stuff. I have to take some of this stuff out. These are Ursula earrings that I think I got from Etsy and I'm gonna be wearing that, of course, with the Little Mermaid outfit. Another hair tie. This is a black knot bracelet that I wear frequently. These are my rose gold castle earrings, like those tiny little earrings that I showed you that I got in that big pack. These are rose gold castle ones. This is what I'll be wearing for travel day, so I gotta take that out. Oh, this is my favorite thing ever. Okay, I DIY'd a charm bracelet, and I put charms on here that reminded me of every single Disney trip that I've ever been on. So I got the rose gold uh, charm bracelet from Mouse on Main Street, and it has this charm that came with it. It's just like this rose gold little mickey on here and one of the pieces here it says do as dreamers do and then the actual charms themselves i got from this shop called charm it they're not disney specific they have a lot of things like they have hundreds and hundreds of charms these are mostly aimed for like little girls but disney i swear brings out the child in me so i'm a child um but they did have some like Disney charms. So for example, um, I think this is an order of when I went. So this first charm here, you're not gonna be able to see everything um, because of the autofocus, but this first charm here is like a tiny little glitter jar that says wishes on it. And that is for the very first trip I went to Disney. I was like 11 or 12 or 13, one of those 
years. And uh, I remember watching Wishes from our balcony. So I don't know which hotel we stayed at, but I definitely remember watching fireworks from the balcony. And I researched when Wishes came out and it came out, you know, around the time that I went to Disney. So I have that Wishes charm. And then this one is like a black mini ears um, with the red bow on it, red polka dot bow. And that reminds me of the time that I went to Orlando for five days with my best friend Jasmine and we went to Magic Kingdom in the middle of the week and we matched. We had like red polka dot dresses on with ears that looked exactly like this. Um, this is a toucan charm and this reminds me of when my mother and I went to Magic Kingdom in 2019 and we watched uh, the Tiki Room show. This is a charm that looks like a little ice cream cone with Mickey cookies on it and this reminds me of my 2019 10 day Disney trip for my birthday because we ate so much ice cream um, on one of those days. And then the next trip I went as a solo trip in 2020 and I went to Universal Studios, uh, no, I went to Universal City Walk and I went to uh, that donut shop that they have there, I think Voodoo Donuts or something like that. They were the best donuts that I've ever had at that point. Um, so I got like this box of donuts charm. Then I went to the Flower and Garden Festival with my uh, fiance Christian and uh, we went to the butterfly tent so i got this butterfly charm we then went a supper time um to all four parks and we went to magic kingdom so this is a castle charm i don't think this is like specifically the like uh, cinderella's castle but this is a castle charm that reminds me of that trip and then lastly this is a charm to commemorate this trip that we're going on this weekend and this is a painter's palette charm in honor of festival of the arts so i diy this the charms were again black friday sale um usually they're six dollars each but they were three dollars each so i diy this i think for like 40 ish bucks maybe 50 bucks which i think it's worth it considering it's customized to me so um i'm not gonna wear it for travel day but i'll definitely be wearing that throughout the trip and i hope that uh none of the charms are lost I did not think I had so much to show you guys. Um, I think I'm pretty much all done. There are some things that I d decided not to bring, like my, um, this is like a regular Pandora charm bracelet. I don't like a lot of Pandora's charms, so I don't usually wear this one. Um, and then I do have flounder earrings that I got from Amazon. I don't know if I'm wearing the flounder ones. I don't know if I'm wearing the Ursula ones. I'm just going to bring both of those. We are crossing the finish line, you guys. I know. I am so sorry that this video is taking forever, but I'm almost done. This is the travel bag that I'm bringing. Um, I got this from Walmart actually um, for 15 bucks it has Minnie Mouse all over um, again like I don't usually wear things with Minnie but uh, this was the most affordable uh, Jansport sized Disney themed backpack that I could find um, backpacks don't have to be Disney themed if you're going to Disney but for me like I wanted that special touch um, so this has my Sebastian backpack in here um, this will have my I think my electronics and my like first aid kit, uh, I don't know, I'll try to shove some stuff in there. Um, in the front pocket of this bag, I have my wallet. This I got from Amazon. I have also some extra hair ties. I have a pair of wired earphones so that I can watch a movie on the plane. I have my fuel rod. If you if you're unaware of what a fuel rod is, you can get this at the airport or on Disney World property. You initially have to pay $30 and then it dispenses the kit for you. It's just like a little like kiosk or vending machine of some sorts. Um, and you get the kit after you pay the $30 fee. And then um, every time you use it, once the battery is dead from this, you can go to one of those kiosks and swap this essentially for a fully charged fuel rod. Um, I think you also can get this online, um, again, for like $30. I think they have some sales where there's like two for 30 or something like that. So um, this is essential. What else do I have? I have some ice breakers, um, like ice cube gums. 
This is great for the plane. I have some like little bottles of alcohol for the plane as well. I also have a face mask because I I think the face mask guideline is list uh, or requirement is lifted from airports, but I'm bringing it just in case. You never know. Um, I do have some park maps in this backpack. This one is like an all four. Um, I think plus Disney Springs park map in one. And then I did print out our um, Sunshine Flyer QR code because um, electronics, they are funky. So always want to have everything printed out. But yeah, you guys, I think that wraps it up. <laughs> this was a lot. Um, no wonder I could barely fit everything in here, but that was everything. So I'm gonna continue on with the portion that I filmed yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's continue with the video. So this is where I'm at since we last spoke because I refuse to compromise. So I put the rose gold backpack back in the suitcase. I did take out my socks, some of my undies. I'm gonna try to put those in shoes. It might work. I still have yet to figure out how I'm bringing my like liquids like my um body wash lotion stuff like that I'm out of breath but this should work I, this, this thing is gonna pop I swear I don't know if you can see it's like curved because it's so overpacked I gotta look up the weight requirements for a carry-on and hope to God that is, it's exactly that or under because if not, I cannot bring my rose gold backpack. I, I put it back because I really, really wanted to use it. I still, I have my travel stuff out. Um, yeah, I gotta like do something with my undergarments. So I'll be back. It is done. I tetris the crap out of my luggage and I did it I'm a genius um but not really I still have to weigh it and see if everything's okay but this is my backpack <laughs> traveling day is gonna be a lot of fun and this is my suitcase um I still kept the rose gold backpack in here I put my uh, some of my socks and undies into my shoes that were in my backpack um the toiletries I have all of them in there except for like extra sanitizer I took that out um I do have sanitizer but I took the extra one out and instead of the uh clear case it was in I put it into like a resealable bag and just like took the air out of it and wrapped it and put it in the backpack so it fit um I'm gonna do the weighing now just to make sure everything's okay this was not the way I wanted my pack with me video to go I, I really did not think that all this just wouldn't fit but i am packing a lot of sweatshirts don't be like me kids uh i'm packing way too many sweatshirts um i think for like a three and a half day trip people usually bring one to two pairs of shoes i'm bringing three all together um i just have a lot that i'm bringing but that's just the case with me all the time i literally overpack there's no convincing me to take a lot of this stuff out um the only other thing that I couldn't bring was like my lint roller, but um, I, I really want to bring it because I am wearing a lot of fleece lined uh, sweatshirts, but I'm going to see if I can get some scotch tape from downstairs and do like a poor man's version of r lint roller. I'll let you know if my weight requirements are good to go. Best news ever guys, I just checked and JetBlue doesn't have any weight restrictions for their carry-on items. As long as your carry-on can fit in the overhead bin or can be like lifted and fit into the overhead bin, then there are no weight restrictions. Um, this is heavy, but not like really unusually heavy. I can, hold on. lift this myself i'll probably throw my back out but i can definitely get this in the overhead bin i'm just hoping that this doesn't pop anytime soon i'm gonna try not to open the suitcase for the next couple of days um but like i said i am waiting on some long sleeve shirts oh, i forgot to bring a brush oh my god my headache went away and then it, it came back like five minutes ago so um <laughs> moral of the story try to pack light please do not be like me 
because otherwise you will not be able to fit things like a hairbrush or a lint roller, let alone your toiletries. So uh, I will try to configure that, but I am so sorry that <laughs> this pack with me video is not like other pack with me videos. It's, it was kind of chaotic here, but I'm glad I was able to fit everything in here. So thanks so much for sticking around and watching it. If you watched all the way to the very end, uh, leave a comment that says I made it and I appreciate you watching to the end. Thank you so much If you enjoyed this pack with me video at all, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up Don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss a single Disney video coming out soon I think that wraps it up. I don't know how long this video is. I'm sure it's very long But I still have a couple of things to do. Um, I have to charge all my electronics before uh, I go so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to open up one of these bags again. That's gonna be annoying to reclose but gotta do what you gotta do thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in disney